Hello everyone. The project which I'm going to talk about now is the upgrade of the beef milling control system. This project was assigned to me by Essential Protein Solution, a food manufacturing group, which employs me. And has, they have a need to replace an electric control panel along one of its manufacturing lines. This very important control panel has been unreliable because it is affecting the production department and its efficiency. And I was taxed with the responsibility of producing another electrical control panel for this production line. So I immediately went to work to develop a work plan to fulfill this project. Some of the machines that are controlled by this machine, by this control panel, is a Jesma hammer mill, known as referred to as beef mill in this project, and four Jesma screw con conveyors, which referred to as a Gottridge. The new control panel will integrate the control system of two more machines, the sieve and the cycler, and also a remote control for another screw conveyor, known as the flexicon. All control buttons will be unified the new control panel. The objectives for this project was specified here, has been specified here. First objective is to detect the need for improvement and evaluate the available data. And this is done by uh, talking to the operators and liaison with the, with the engineering manager and production team leaders to decide the best option. Decide on, and then design a new electrical diagram based on what has been talked about, write down a list of material and suggest and a budget which will be required to produce such an electrical panel. When the budget is approved, the electrical panel will be built and, and, and uh, the electrical control panel will be built according to the electrical diagram which I have designed. And then I run a separate cable trunking to the factory and to each of the control machine controlled machines and also run initial tests of the machines and of the, of the electrical control panel in the factory during shutdown period. Commissioning and handover to the production department will be done when the, when it has been satisfactorily tested and all the safety measures has been complied with. The progress that has been made so far is that the electrical diagram has been designed, although there may be level, there are still some secrets to be labeled, and there may be some little adjustments. And while I was uh, waiting for the materials to be supplied, I created a test board where, which helped me to recreate some of the diagrams, some of the secrets, and um, secrets to each machine. And by wiring and testing the control secret of each machine on a test board, I was able to achieve the following make some corrections on the electrical diagram, find what works and what doesn't work. Find that some materials were not in the list of material that I submitted. I made videos which can serve as activity log and can also help me to recall easily. I shared some of these videos to the public on my YouTube channel under such titles as Pure Safety Relay System, Safety Secret, with pure safety relay, basis of controlling electrical control motor with a variable frequency drive, etc. When the materials were supplied, I started to implement the implementation process of the control panel and I made videos where I described how each of the electrical circuit was functioning and other progress which I have been making during the time uh, during the process of building the electrical control panel. They are also uh, available to be viewed at the YouTube under these titles as how to insert pilot lamps and push buttons, how to install cooling fan, how to how the power supply unit for control panel via AC voltage transformer works, and uh, wiring and testing electric control panel, etc. And the variable frequency drive plays, plays a very pivotal role in this project because the two variable frequency drives have been employed as opposed to the um, PLC and soft starter, which was previously used 
and this is done this way so that we can simplify the the um, maintenance of the system so that you don't need a special software to be able to um, troubleshoot the machines. It has uh, the variable frequency drive has three main units: the rectifier unit, both the the DC link and the inverter link, and the inverter unit. So the, v, the variable frequency drive has uh, embedded software which program which um, user can be able to use to change the parameters. And this is uh, what a rectifier unit looks like. AC current, which which comes in because the AC has a sine wave, has sine wave. Therefore, uh, it has my, uh, the magnitude and the direction is always changing. And then the rectifier bridge, the rectifier unit uses the uh, rectifier bridge to uh, convert the AC to DC voltage. And then a smoothing capacitor is used to smooth out the the variations in voltage coming in from the rectifier. A voltage, the DC voltage is stored in the DC um, DC link. That the role of the DC to AC inverter is to control the voltage and frequency of the power supply and change the rotation speed of the electrical motors. A clock that controls a on and off switch creates a, a pulses. So these pulses can be seen here. So it goes off on and off, and then these pulses has a frame width. And this controls uh, varies the speed, helps to vary the speed of the motor. And then uh, here it is done automatically. It is done automatically through uh, through a dedicated one chip computer, which is used to control the pulse width. So by by making by making it so the operator can can use the the parameters of the embedded software to specify the desired speed. This, this is the diagram which I have developed. This is a um, power diagram of the uh, inverter. This is a control diagram, one of the control diagram. So. So I'm going to make a demonstration now of how it is going to run. So first of all, we run the, we start the cyclone. The cyclone is running, and then we start the mill. And once this, the full speed of the mill is reached, the one, two, three will come on. That these three machines will come on, and when the timer has finished clocking, the feed should be able to you should be able to start the feed with this push button with this uh feed push button so there's a meal there's a, a button for starting the meal the start button is push start button for the for the cyclone and for the meal and then for the feed the flexicon is an independent uh is it has a different panel it's just the start stop button the start stop button has has been extended here it has not been wired when it's taken to the place where the into the factory, then we'll just uh, I'll just bring the start and stop wire and extend the start and stop uh, wire control con uh, to this panel. So I'm going to start the mill now, and now that motor is running. Now full speed is reached, and all these machines are on now. But once I turn off the mill, because they all depend on the mill, if I turn off the mill, the other machines goes off as well. So what if I turn on the mill, it reaches full speed. What if one of the machines trips? What if, what if that machine trips and that one trips? What happens? The light goes off. The operator knows there's a problem because the lights are off, the cyclone is off, and these ones are off too. Even if the mill is running, this operator knows there's a problem, but there's no, no uh, a possible, uh, there's not gonna be any blockage. So we can reset it, and we'll reset. The light comes on. The, the, this one, the cyclone is still tripped, so the operator will know the cyclone is tripped. But this process can continue to run. So I also need to make sure that the cyclone, I also need to know, make sure that the cyclone should uh, 
that the, the, the process should not start, continue when the cyclone goes off. So, so now I stop the process. Stop the mill and stop the cyclone. I still have the fault. I need to resolve that fault as well. And I need to test, I need to program this. I have not programmed this inverter. Do I have to reprogram this one when I take it into the factory because it is going to run on a 37 kilowatts motor. And this motor is a 22 kilowatts motor. So thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy the, the presentation.